Hi there. Let's chat for a moment about making it stick, the science of successful learning and GIS. Now, in their wonderful book about the science of successful learning, Make It Stick, Peter Brown, Henry Rodiger, and Mark McDaniel spell out some truths that I believe are instructive as to how we should approach teaching with GIS. First, the authors claim that learning is deeper and more durable when it's effortful. Effortful. Learning that's easy and that is like writing in sand. Here today and gone tomorrow, say the authors. Now, despite the fact that teaching and learning with GIS is far easier than it was a decade ago, or even a year ago, I think we as educators do a disservice to our colleagues in education, or to students when we say, it's easy. First of all, teaching and learning are difficult tasks, whether it is for GIS or anything else. It's not for the faint-hearted. Second, think of everything that goes into teaching with GIS. A balance between content knowledge, skills, and the geographic perspective. Yes, it may be easier technically to bring in, for example, a CSV into ArcGIS Online than it was to bring in a spreadsheet into ArcInfo back in the 1990s. But even this skill relies on some key foundations. A few of them are, what is a database? How can I create one? How can locations be mapped? How can I work with latitude and longitude pairs or street addresses? What are the pros and cons of choosing a certain map projection over another? Furthermore, recall a time when working in GIS when you tenaciously stuck to a problem you were grappling with and finally figured it out. It's so rewarding, right, when you finally figure it out. That shouldn't take long. You're not likely to forget those times, right, because you may have been up for hours and hours when you could have been sleeping, nor the skills that you gained by doing so either. If everything was easy, according to these authors, and confirmed by my own experience in using GIS in education, and probably yours too, we, we certainly wouldn't remember it as well. And by implication, we wouldn't be building a foundation for new knowledge, as I will expand, expand here. Second, the authors claim that all new learning requires a foundation of prior knowledge. Now, how often do we as educators, or we as students for that matter, want to skip right to an advanced task without understanding the knowledge and skills that uh, need to be in place first? For example, when teaching a recent workshop on mapping field data, many of the workshop participants wanted to skip to the last item on the agenda, which is basically citizen science mapping with live web mapping services, before understanding well how data can be mapped and what a mapping service is in the first place. Third, putting new knowledge into a larger context helps learning, according to the authors. Now, one of the purposes of what my colleagues and I write about and make videos about, the Ed Community Resources, webinars, the T3G Institute, Connect Ed, and other initiatives, is to ground the use of GIS in the larger context of educational best practice within specific disciplines content and within the context of other geospatial skills. Now, even the tried and true lesson of using GIS to teach about plate tectonics should take place in a larger context of the physical processes of the Earth and the relationship between earthquakes, volcanoes, and plate boundaries. In other words, it doesn't stand alone. Now, there are other instructive gems for teaching and learning with GIS in this book, such as learning is an acquired skill and the most effective strategies are often counterintuitive. Hmm. But I've run out of time in this video. I leave it to you to read this book. Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning by Peter Brown, Henry Rodiger, and Mark McDaniel. I also encourage you to read some reflections by my colleague Charlie Fitzpatrick, and also an article in Education Week about grit. And I hope that is useful. Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning. Lots of implications for GIS. Thanks.